I just reached 800,000 followers on YouTube. Thank you, thank you. And I thought what's better way to celebrate it than baking a cake for it. And not a normal cake, an awesome traditional German cake. And that's why today I'm here, not at the fun fair, but at a supermarket in Germany to buy the ingredients to bake the cake. Let's go. A little sneak peek. This. A little sneak peek. This is gonna be the cake I will bake today. Don't know Vela, but my one will be better because it is freshly baked at home with a lot of love. The baking section is my favorite place in every German supermarket. In Vietnam, we barely bake, so we don't really have that much of baking stuff around. And here, it's just so many different things that I have never seen before. I could be here for hours, seriously. I got everything here. Let's go home and bake it. <laughs> My favorite German dessert has to be Donnavilla. I had it like two years ago for the first time when my boyfriend and made it in a birthday party and I never forget the taste. It's not very heavy, it's not very sweet. Instead, it's fruity because you have sherry inside, you also have puddings as well. So it's melt in your mouth and the taste is just heaven. This is my first time making it and problem is most of the recipes are in German and when it comes to baking, you never know if it's gonna turn out well at the end. So, uh, I'm not promising anything, but um, good luck to us. So the first ingredient we need is a soft block of butter. I already put this guy out yesterday, so he's completely soft. But if you forgot to do it, you can just microwave it or you can just like mold it on your hand for a while because your hand is basically warm enough to melt the butter too. They said to mix butter with sugar now and I always find western dessert too sweet for me so I'm gonna cut the amount of sugar into a half. Now this is always my favorite part. I'm going to slowly put one egg at a time into this batter and then mix it together. We have a problem. The eggs are cold because they were in the fridge I didn't think about it, so when I put them into the butter, it's basically make the butter not melt again. So please use room temperature eggs. The wet ingredient is finished, so now we're going to move on to the dry ingredient. We need flour, baking powder, and a bit of salt. After pouring in the flour, I just realized that this recipe is for like 10 people, like a big party. This is a two people household. Now I'm gonna mix the wet ingredients, which is looking still very weird, to the dry ingredients. And I'm just gonna pray for a miracle or something like that. So the cake has to layer, one is white and one is dark. Therefore, I need to take some part of the mixture here and mix some cacao powder in it. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Side note, when the batter is too thick, do not use this again. Just use the spatula and mix it. You know what to do. That was way harder and more messy than I thought, but we're done. Now we're going to put in my favorite ingredient, sherry. If you have weak hands like me and you have problem open any jar, I have a trick for you. Watch. It will leave some air in here and it's gonna be easier to open. I'm gonna put the cherries on top of the cake. Ta -da! Let's bake it. While waiting for the cake to bake, we're going to make the pudding layer. I just finished reading the recipe and I am shocked by how much butter, butter we need to use in this recipe. Who needs that much of butter? It's just too unhealthy. But it's good, so let's go. The 
pudding is burned. It happened so quick. I think I make the heat a bit too high and then bam, the next second is burned. We're gonna do it again. This time I'm gonna put the heat on low and I'm gonna stir constantly until it's done. I hope it's gonna work because I'm running out of pot and pan to cook this. Guys, I think it's working. Now I need to cover it so that it's not gonna create a layer up here. Perfect. Anyway, so the next step, I need to beat this much butter with this much vanilla, which is crazy, too much butter for me. So I will cut just half of it and see if it's still working. So I watched a tutorial and she said to beat the butter until it turned white and fluffy. And she beat it for like 10 minutes and the butter turned into cream or something. Not cream, whipping cream. And it was super big in volume and was super white. My one still look like butter. I don't know how it works now, but I don't care anymore. Not bad. The cake is finally cooled out, but we have a problem. It's super dry. I just tried one small piece here and I almost choked. But fear not, because I am a bit of a good baker. I'm going to mix some milk, water and sugar into this. And then I will put them directly onto the cake so that the cake can be more soft and moist. The potion is finished. I really want to stop here, but I cannot. I want to make a traditional one with a chocolate layer. I don't even like chocolate, but my boyfriend does. Let's keep going. <laughs> Just do it. I need to cool this down for around two hours before I pour on the melted chocolate. The last layer is a soft chocolate glacier, and you can melt it by steaming it with hot water or put it into the microwave but you have to be careful because it's burned very easily I'm lazy so I'm gonna choose to put it into the microwave and deal with the risk I'm gonna microwave it for 30 seconds first Please don't burn! Okay, nothing much happening so, 30 seconds more. There's still some big chunk, but I'm just gonna try to mix until they melt completely. I don't dare to microwave one more time. Mm, pretty solid. Please work, please work, please work. And it's done. Now we need to cool it down again and we can eat it maybe tomorrow. Guys, this cake is too much work. I have the biggest respect for people who actually make it daily in a bakery or something. I really hope that it's gonna taste okay. It's been 24 hours and I can safely say that the Donald Vela is finished. I will write something on top of the cake with some whipping cream now. Don't have any food coloring anymore. So there's only black and white, look a bit sad, but okay. <laughs> I want to write thanks for 800,000, <laughs> but <laughs> my handwriting and uh, planning was not very good, but I hope you can feel my appreciation. You guys are the best. Thank you very much for subscribing, watching my long form video. Although it was, I wouldn't say it was the best already yet, but I'm trying my best and I appreciate every single one of you a lot. Thank you. All right, it's eating time. I'm super curious how it tastes like. Honey! I think based on the look, it's pretty legit. We have the vanilla part, we have the chocolate part, and this is um, cherry, pudding, and chocolate. Everything is here. Now we just need to see if it tastes legit too. Okay, so putting milk inside was definitely a good idea because 
This part is still completely dry because the milk couldn't reach it. But this part was wet and moist, which is good. I like it. What do you think, honey? How was it? It's really dry, sweetie. Okay. A few moments later. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Mmm. I think my tongue just died and went to heaven. Shoot. Oh. Look at that really.